weekly vlog so what have i got on this week so um for this week i think i'm going to focus on putting together the hyena um so what i did was i added the ball and socket armature to the all of the pieces of the hyena so i just need to put it all together and i uh, still need to find some appropriate faux fur for um the body so i'll probably rummage through that at some point this week um and see if i can find something that i have in stock that i'm happy with otherwise i'll have to go on a hunt for some faux fur online but i don't know <laughs> where to get it from because the shipping at the moment is uh really bad and slow so it's kind of annoying uh secondly i am currently in the process of sculpting the feet for both of the tigers so we have the one that will be the siberian tiger and then the one that will be the white tiger with the movable jaw um so yeah i need to sculpt uh two sets of uh four uh what do you call it paw pads i guess so i've rolled like a whole bunch of little balls that are all the same size um which i will then start sculpting into the feet so i'll probably do that um today at some point but uh yeah so i've been editing a lot of videos and just doing a lot of editing and like admin stuff lately so i had a free printable go up on my patreon as well which the original is in my patreon shop so you can check that out um and what else yeah just been doing a whole lot of videos so i did the cassowary video so that's going to go up tomorrow um so check it out if you haven't already seen it but the cassowary is going up in my shop tomorrow and um and then uh yeah i've just been editing editing a whole bunch of videos for i edited the, the last vlog i did the cassowary video which is kind of a long one because there was a, a whole bunch of different steps to making the cassowary but there's more on my patreon as well there's two more videos on my patreon um talking about like the whole process that's what i'm going to do with each doll is just talk about a bit of the process um of what i've been doing so i'll start that with my hyena and i'll probably just do um ones for the tigers as well just to talk about what i what i sculpted and stuff and yeah just like little installments and uh, updates for my patreons um and then um what else did i do uh so that's basically it in terms of like dolls i guess I don't know about painting I don't know if I have time to do painting because I know these feet are going to take a little while to sculpt so we'll see maybe I'll need a break between sculpting feet because that can get a bit monotonous I think sometimes um and yeah I got a delivery excitingly of armatures so the ball and socket armatures so these ones that, you'd, that you can see that I use all the time one I was running low on my own supply so I ordered the most I ordered were the 1 8 scale ones because they're the ones that I use most and I didn't have too much of that left. Um, but I did order the three sizes that I have in my shop so I need to go through and do some like inventory stock take I guess. Uh, and see how many bits I have to put up because I'm going to keep obviously a uh, majority of these because that's what I use. So there will be a really limited supply that's ready to ship. Um, of armatures so I've already shipped one that was a pre-order so that's already one down and they come in two different coil sizes so there's a 25 foot and a 50 foot but I'm not sure that I'm going to put any of those 50 feet up because um, that's what I use I use a lot of that armature so I'm not sure that I'm going to but yeah I'll go through my inventory and see um, what I have but I have ordered new pliers too because i was running low on those as well so there's uh it should be a stock of five pliers um which are these tools that you need to separate the joints um so yeah i'll just have to go through the inventory at some point maybe on the weekend and um just see how much i want to put up in my shop but i'll let everyone know when those ball and socket armatures are up 
and ready to go but uh, yeah really excited to have armatures in stock um, in my shop but yeah like I said it'll be really limited supply um, until there's like enough of an interest to buy more because they're quite expensive to buy it's quite a lot of money to outlay to begin with so um, yeah that's why it's a really limited stock because it's only me doing everything um, but yeah so that is the plan I think for this week and uh, probably mostly sculpting I reckon but um, yep that's it um, so I'll catch up with you later I guess for today it's a bit of a boring vlog I think but um, I just spent a bit of time working through the tiger paws and also working on the Tasman not Tasmanian the hyena commission Tasmanian um, so yeah kind of a slow week this week uh, I spent a bit of time unpacking the armatures which I've put a really small handful up of in stock armatures in my shop so you're, if you're interested in getting those ball and socket armatures check that out I have a really limited supply of them um, but yes I have some supply so yeah check it out it's at creaturesandnet.com and it's under like the little armature section in uh, the supplies bit so basically I can show you I've sculpted I managed to sculpt one set of tiger paws uh, they're really rough because a lot of it's going to be covered in fur so I didn't want to go too overboard with all of the detailing but just just because it's gonna have fur on it anyway but this is one of the back paws um, which I've sculpted out of Sculpey original and I've made them quite low as well so I can um, position them and bring it out a little bit with when I attach the fabric to it so when I attach the fabric to it I'll try and um, position it to go up a little bit to give that sort of effect that they're walking on their tippy toes uh, so I've made space for the armature to sit and also just really hashed out the, the, the toes that's pretty much the more important thing I've also added the little pads underneath so all that will be covered in fur and the pads will be um, painted uh, so it's, yeah same deal with the front feet as well so well super bright so yeah same deal with the front feet um, where I'm gonna attach the fabric to here so it comes up and it's gonna be sort of sitting on a uh, tippy toe effect but uh, and the little space for the armature so I'm going to be using the one quarter sized armature to support this doll because it is a heavier doll and a bigger doll so um, it will need that extra bit of strength and support and then um, that took a couple of hours to sculpt that so over two days and um, yeah sometimes you can get really sick of sculpting the same thing 
over and over. So I, yeah, I wanted to at least complete one set of pores and then I'll only have like the, the, the second set to go. So after I finished that first set, I started concentrating on the hyena commission. So I've been adding the felting to it. So I'll be talking about this in a separate video of the, the process that I've been doing in over on my Patreon. And I'll just talk through like what I've been doing. Um, and, and yeah, so that is the progress so far of the hyena. It's coming along. I still need to add a bit more bulk to it, but yeah, it just takes time to, to add that little bit of detailing. So I need a bit more bulk here for the little leg muscles along here and a bit more definition and probably a little bit more rounding around here and just a bit more bulking around this area too because I have quite a um, heavy front of the body but yeah it's coming along I really like the size of it um, <laughs> I really do want to try and make dolls this size <laughs> but um, yeah they just always end up turning out really big so um, because this one was requested to be smaller um, I kind of had to force myself to um, follow those constraints I guess uh, so yeah so I'm not going to be felting this bit, but um, just because it'll be they, they're thin anyway, so it needs to be um, small enough to be able to put fabric over the top of it. But yeah, I'll talk about this more in my Patreon um, videos about the doll. But yeah, it's working quite well. It's uh, pretty stable and um, yeah, looking forward to put it together. I think I've come to the conclusion on what fabric I'm going to use. So... I'm going to be using this colour fabric, which I used for my um, prairie dog that I did for the Calgary Zoo. And <clears throat> because most of it's going to be trimmed, I'm really looking at the colouring underneath, which I, ha I went back and I had a look at quite a few different images of hyenas just to sort of come to a conclusion on what colour coat I wanted and what, what colour their base coat was so I can um, really apply that extra bit of coloring to like a base color so come up with this one so when you separate the, the the tips of the pile you can see it's like a brownie color like a brownie gray color it's got a couple of different tones in there but I thought that would have that was a perfect color for a base coat and then I can add a little bit of oranges and browns on top of it um, which you'll probably see in some of my Patreon videos, that process of adding the colour. Maybe a small little clip in my YouTube videos. But yes, so I've finally come to a conclusion. I have to find this fabric. I don't know how much of it is left. But because this is a, only a small doll, I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to do a body out of it. Um, because, it's, yeah, it doesn't require too much um fabric and the majority of it will be hand sewn as well i think all of it will be hand sewn because it's the same process as putting the skin over the top the same as what i did for the cassowary so um yeah so it's coming along i'm excited to see it finished i quite like doing these little dolls as like a little tabletop version i guess um but yeah, Cassowary is up in my shop if you want to check that out as well. Um, he's looking for a home. Um, and don't forget my poll over on my Patreon about picking my next doll that's um, open to everyone. It's just I like the poll function over on my Patreon. It's really easy to use. So um, yeah, you can head over there and vote for the next doll to make and so far the Tibetan sand fox is winning um, which is kind of exciting because it's got an unusual little head to um, to sculpt so excited to do that if that's the winner um, but yeah that's a that's pretty much a little sum up or summary for this week so um, yeah not in a very exciting <laughs> event week but um, yeah good progress on a couple of things so I should be able to start once I finish those pores I should be able to start um, putting it all together those those tigers and do a nice little collection like a dedicated collection to those tigers um, and yeah so I would like to do some painting at some point but I'm kind of um, when I get these hyena thing with this hyena and tiger done so 
Oh, I think that's about it. Yeah, I'll leave it there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thanks to my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciated it. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, head over to Patreon. I've got new series of things going up, which is talking about each doll that I'm making. So I'm currently working on also making the videos of the tigers to talk about and just talk about yeah the process of how I've done everything on them and the same with the hyena so check that out and also my shop creaturenet.com you can find me on instagram and facebook and i need to get back into making tiktok videos as well um i'll get there but yes so i'll leave it there and um i'll catch you in the next one bye